I'm addicted to wearing these glasses. I feel like it's been maybe a couple of months since I've made a video like this and I love doing them. Hopefully you love watching them. Today we are going to be unboxing a mountainous, very exciting box of K-Beauty, J-Beauty products and mostly beauty products but also just like some more like gadgety things, skincare, uh, maybe a little bit of tech items. I don't remember what's in this box. So let's find out together. Sippy sippy, cheers to you Swamp Fam. All right, very first thing I have is like a, I almost said K-Beauty fashion accessory, that makes no sense, uh, but it is a very cute cat ear beret. I love wearing berets with wigs and you guys know, I. Oh my God, inappropriate fling. You guys know I've been so into the wigs lately. Little hats like that are so easy to just like hide that hairline if it's a little bit less natural than you'd like it to be. Up next is something I'm gonna grab all the way from the back. I have wanted one of these things forever. They are kind of like an artist model. Ooh, right out plopped a silica packet. Oh my God, I hate these things. It's like my top five fear. Anyway, I have wanted one of these things forever. Oh my God, the way it is gestured right now reminds me of a monkey paw. Do you guys know that story of the monkey paw? It's like a, if you know, you know, if you don't know, you don't know. I think even the Simpsons has done it for like a Treehouse of Horror episode one time. But monkey paw is like a thing. This is like an artist wooden model hand. I've always wanted one of these to use as a ring holder. So that is why I have this. Look, I could just go like this and be like, Hey everybody, it's Bunny. Hopefully you guys can't still see my hand holding this wooden hand. Hey everybody, it's Bunny. Ew, look, this could also be an alien baby holder. Look, oh, well that doesn't look very comfortable. Are you enjoying that? I don't think he's enjoying it, you guys. No, okay, we're not gonna do that. We're not gonna do that anymore. Uh, wooden hand, moving along. The next thing is a couple of beauty products I see right here on top from a brand that I love and I believe that this brand is still sold at uh, Sephora. I almost said Ulta. Maybe it's sold at Ulta now too. Definitely I have bought this at Sephora once before. Oh my god I forgot to even say this is all from Yes Style. Yes Style is far and away my favorite place to shop for K-Beauty and J-Beauty items. They also have a lot of like bags, clothing, like household items. They have it all. So uh, be sure and check them out if you're interested in that kind of stuff. Anyway, back to the haul. So this brand is called Neogen, and I know that this product I have purchased in Sephora before. They are these little peeling pads, so they just help to make your skin clearer, smoother, and they have a couple of different ones that have like different hero ingredients. This one I've never tried before. I think I've tried the lemon ones before. These ones are wine, which I know I just said this in a recent video somewhere. Like I do not drink at all, but I love like like liquor smelling things like liquor perfume or like cosmetics skincare with wine listed as an ingredient oh my god and it literally it smells <laughs> I keep just wanting to say it smells like communion but it literally smells like red wine so they are these awesome little pads I'm just gonna do a little sample now so one side is textured and then the other side is more flat they're a nice thick gauze and it actually has this little pouch so you can put your fingers in there and then you can just do like some nice exfoliation I don't just use these on my face I use them just on my my body sometimes as well especially right now when it's like cooler weather or a lot of weather changes and I just feel like my skin is just really unhealthy dry and grotesque up next is the other Neogen product this is definitely probably the third time that I have reordered this so I love these Neogen fresh foam face washes. I love using these as like my daytime face wash. Like I'm a person that probably loves to wash my face more than I should. So I kind of have like a daytime face wash and then at night I always 
use my Murad. This one is cereal and I just love the packaging of these as well because they actually have the ingredient in the bottom of the bottle. So there was a green tea one that I've used a bunch of times, cereal, and then I literally cannot remember like what the other flavor is but I just I'm like a total cereal like I love just eating cereal so I feel like this is just like oh I'm like I want to wash my face with cereal. Up next is something for my hair that I was really curious about. I feel like lately I've just been having like dry scalp or it feels like almost like a build-up situation in my hair. So this is from the brand Epiu, which I'm not saying that right. It always reminds me of Pepe Le Pew. No correlation. But this is a raspberry vinegar hair mist. So it is an all-in-one water mist for scalp, odor, and hair texture, healthy scalp, and shiny hair. I just love Wow, that was like right in my face. I don't know if I'm ready to commit that it smells like vinegar, but I can definitely smell the raspberries. So huh, I'm excited to try it. Oh look, hey, I didn't even remember that was in this box. This is another Neogen. This is the other one I was telling you guys about. That is the green tea and hopefully you guys are gonna be able to see there are actually like green tea leaves down in the bottom i don't think the camera lighting is picking up on it too well but with the eyeballs i can see it i thought that this was so cute i guess this is the brand lanilla lamilla i'm not sure if that's an in or an M, but these are called blending eggs and they are in this hard plastic container and you open it up and it is a bunch of different shaped blending sponges and I'm really excited for this one because I know I talk about the Morphe stiletto sponge so much but it was one of my all-time favorite like beauty blender items and I think that they discontinued it. I have no idea why because it was so amazing and then also there was like this flat one that I was really excited about as well. And I also love everything that is like a black and white color scheme. Up next, something else that obviously I had to pick um, is a pumpkin cream. This is called Relaxing Pumpkin Cream. And I think that you can use this on the face and body. I'm not sure if Daycell is the brand, but of course, of course I would pick a pumpkin moisturizer that looks like it has jack-o-lanterns all over the packaging. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna be 100% honest. I'm not crazy about the smell. It doesn't smell like pumpkins. I don't know what it smells like, but hopefully you guys can see on the lid, it does have like a water jelly texture. So I'm gonna assume it is mega moisturizing because I love K-Beauty creams that have that kind of texture. I feel like they work really well, but I'm just being honest, you guys, this might be a product that I just sit out to make myself smile like more of one of those like display beauty kind of products because I don't know if I can get over the smell. Up next is kind of like a gadget type thing. I don't think, oh okay, it says magnetic blood needle equipment. That sounds sick. I think that I got these to test out for like a world's weirdest beauty thing. I think you're supposed to squeeze these. So I should, oh my God. Okay, I'm just gonna pick them up now because what? Oh, they're so sharp. Like they look like total aestheticals. Oh my God, they are magnetic. Why? Why are these balls magnetic? And why are they so sharp? Like, are you really supposed to like clinch them? Why is the word blood, blood needle, blood needle equipment? Okay, I don't understand it. I'm gonna maybe try and do some research. Are we gonna see the magnet blood balls again? I don't know. Subscribe and find out. Up next is another beauty sponge item. And this is actually one that you use in the bath. It's like very porous but it looks like a beauty blender. Have you guys ever had a like skincare sponge like this? Because I never have and I'm excited to try it. Up next is, I have not had one of these in forever and this is the Tony Moly Pocket Bunny Perfume Bar and this is in the scents Juicy, juicy bunny. The packaging is so adorable. It's like a slightly orange sherbet bunny color, but it is a solid stick perfume. So perfect for just chucking in your purse or if you're traveling or something. Oh wow, the smell. 
is really refreshing. You know what it almost smells like a dupe for is Clinique Happy, which Oh, I have so many happy memories with Clinique Happy. This is a product I'm definitely gonna save for like a world's weirdest video. And I'm gonna test it out with Dogman because it is like a magical double flavor kissing lip balm. It's like two people are supposed to apply like two different scents or something. And then like some kind of magic happens. I, it's called I Wan Chew. So there's like a set. I don't know. We're going to test it. It's going to be amazing. Up next is a Laneige Time Freeze Firming Sleeping Mask. I absolutely love Laneige skincare. I feel like I'm never disappointed when I use these products. I feel like I see real results if I use like the night cream. I think I did the water moisturizing one for like the whole bottle and I used it diligently every single day and I really felt like I saw the disappearance of a lot of fine lines and my face just looked like plumper and more overall moisturized. So this one I think is a little bit more intensive with the anti-aging factor than um, the water one. Oh look, okay let's just bust open the safety seal. Okay so this one is like a thicker cream. I was thinking it was going to be a little bit more like water or gel like consistency. But I find that that is kind of the thing with a lot of intensive anti-aging creams. Most of the time those are like a thicker um, white creamy texture than the water gel ones. I feel like those tend to be more moisturizing. So much more to go. Oh, okay, this is a product I was really looking forward to trying it because I love products like this. The powder, kind of like pour washes. Does that make any sense? I feel like I talk about these all the time with various brands, like there's a Tatcha one that I love. And there was one that I used to buy from Sephora. It came in a little purple like rectangular package but I don't even think that that uh that they sell that brand anymore so this is from a company that I've tried several times and once again I've really loved a lot of their products it's called um Eliza Vecca and their little mascot is always this adorable pig which I feel like just makes me want to try their products even more so this is one of those powder oh there's probably a safety seal thank goodness Oh, look at this. Oh, it's like a safety plug. Ooh, this one is like chunkier. Can you guys see? It looks like that fake snow stuff to me. So you just dump a little bit of this product into your hand, um, like wet it, and it just makes like a nice exfoliating powder. Up next, we have like a stationary item. And ooh, this looks so neat. So it is a journal and these little planets will actually glow in the dark. And it's like a hard bound journal. And then there's a couple different paper sections in here. One is like really cool all black paper that you could use like jelly rolls on. And then some of the sheets are just blank in the back. So I always like to have things like this laying around to use as like little scrap paper or for video ideas, all kind of fun stuff like that. Up next, I have a set of lashes, which I'm sure I meant to use in October for the Halloween season. But these are from the brand Piggy and these are called Halloween Lashes. So the packaging alone is definitely what sold it to me. And then let's actually slide it out. I think you get three pair. Nope, just one. No, you get two, uh, but they both look like this. Look at how light and wispy those are. Those are so pretty. And I think a lot of these items are super inexpensive as well. I think for both of these pairs of lashes, it was like $3 or something. So up next, it's kind of funny because I do not even have this model of phone anymore. I feel like it's almost time for me to do another one of my like phone case collection videos. I did that on my second channel so long ago, but it was a lot of fun to like look back. But anyway, it is a really cool three dimensional lollipop on the back of this case. And then inside there are actual sprinkles which I love cases with like stuff inside of them. Um, up next, you know what? We're gonna go ahead and take a look at this guy because he is so cute. He's an avocado man backpack 
with a little miniature avocado man keychain. And I just thought that that was like so whimsical and cute. Like I can totally see myself like taking this uh, to Walt Disney World to use as a purse there. So, so cute. Up next, I have a stack of face masks. I love this character, Ryan. Um, I think that they are Keiko friends. I never know how to pronounce it, but it's from the brand The Face Shop, which is another one of my favorite K-beauty brands. I also have a bunch of these icing masks because Yes Style actually sends like free products with your order and they kind of like switch it out. Like sometimes it's a bit of stationary, but when I did this order, it was these icing popsicle face masks. I think they're just like generally uh, moisturizing. Oh yeah, it says smoother skin and they're both pineapple scented. Up next, I have this, which looked so cool on the website. It actually looks like one of those gold foil face masks. So this is an age intensive listing, lifting, listing, lifting. Oh my God. I'm trying to say lifting anti-wrinkle and it's gold foil so that's why I really wanted to try it oh look right in my face masks I got a pair of I think that these are actually considered like eyebrow scissors but I definitely always like to have these super fine tip sharp scissors to trim eyelash bands for fake eyelashes oh look I forgot I got two more of those foil masks because they looked so awesome. So they are all anti-wrinkle, I believe, but this one is gonna be a silver foil and this one is gonna be like a bright blue metallic foil. Oh yes, I have another really exciting beauty tool. So this is the Magic Cooler Magic Massage Ball. So I guess you don't just have to use it on your face, but that is what I got it for. Um, so it comes in this little case, you twist it open and and then on the inside, oh my gosh, okay, I thought the ball, oh, it, it can come loose. So you can actually use it in a couple of different ways. Like there's this little stopper here, I guess you could call it. So you can actually use it if you wanted to use it on your body. Or I think more if you wanted to use it for your skin, you can just pop the ball out and like roll it along your face but why it's called magic cooling is because it's literally cool right now like i plan on putting it in my beauty fridge just to always have it a little bit cooler but it literally feels cool to the touch just sitting out in room temperature so pretty impressive so this next product i don't think i've ever actually bought it before but it's something like just the packaging of it always tempts me to buy it and try it and i feel like when i first started looking at k-beauty items like this was always recommended as like a top selling top performing product and help me out with the brand i always want to say majolica majorica and i don't know if i'm saying that correctly correctly but doesn't this just look like I, Harry Potter makeup or something like makeup for witches I don't know like it just looks so magical to me and this is literally just a setting powder compact so it has a mirror and like a traditional powder puff applicator and then oh my god it literally says fills all your wishes little setting powder compact reminds me of like the old cover girl makeup that I used to use like in junior high next is a weird hair item that I've always wanted to test out. I think it's like solid hairspray in a stick and uh, the brand is Cosme and that's literally all it is you guys. I don't know it's called hair styling stick. So I think I'm gonna set this one to the side and like gather a bunch of weird hair items and we can test them all out together. Ooh, this is another thing that like when I saw it, I just knew that I would want to try it. It's called um, Honey Cake Crystal Purple Soap. So I'm not really sure like what benefits it's necessarily supposed to have, but it just looked so pretty. It's like a translucent purple glycerin soap. Oh, it smells really good. <laughs> this has like a Disney World 
scent to it. Like I'm about to say it smells like a Disney World bathroom, but I don't think that just probably doesn't sound appealing. You know when it's like a familiar smell from like a public hand soap or something? That is definitely what I'm talking about. Um, up next is one of these items that I have seen repeatedly on Instagram and I always want to know if it really works or not. So they are these, they're like shaggier than a makeup eraser, but that's basically what they're supposed to be like. Like you can and put micellar water on them or I'm assuming like a facial cleanser of some kind like whatever you use to remove your makeup and that is what this cloth is for so it's obviously supposed to be like more eco-friendly than makeup remover wipes because you just use it and then you can wash it and just use it over and over and over again I have another beauty tool and this is once again gonna be popped into the beauty fridge which I think I'm about to do a tour of of my beauty fridge for you guys just in case y'all might be interested but it is an eye massaging tool specifically so this one I would think to get the full benefits you would actually have to put it in the fridge or the freezer but it also like rotates as well it's like spinning around pretty fascinating up next are a couple of fun household things we have two instax cameras so this one i'm going to keep for myself because it is a nice gator green color and then this one i'm going to give to my mom because i feel like she's really been wanting an instax camera and she loves like blue calming things so this is called ice blue and this one is lime green up next i have a cute little container now i think i'm planning on putting bobby pins in here but it's actually supposed to be for stickers and i think that there are some really cute holographic stickers inside so we have like heart cherries and this cute little mascot that says nice nice and we have a unicorn um, and then this one looks so cute as well they look like little um, gummy candies in bags they're like little teddy bears very very cute I have more lashes it's just like a basic card this style just looked really pretty to me we have some of these funky eye stickers which I think once again I wanted to use for a Halloween video but clearly I did not. Luckily, there's always next year. Um, up next is a fashion type item. So this can be worn with this little strap as a belt bag. And then there's also an optional chain, but I definitely got it to wear as a belt bag. This is just totally my style. It's a faux leather, but I love all of these silver studded details. Up next, I have this cute little camera necklace and i think oh yeah look you push the button and it flashes i just thought that that was so cute and i am kind of like a camera obsessed person so i thought that that was perfect for my life i have a bunch i feel like this is another video that would be so fun to do on my second channel but i have a bunch of these really cute airpod cases like literally so many in here you guys how am i like this they're all so cute. We have another phone case that is so adorable. It looks like a little biscuit. Then we have, oh, this is like a weird little attachment. I think you can put it on any normal um, plastic water bottle and it turns it into like a face mister. I'm sure I got that for like a future Disney trip in my mind. Um, this I honestly got to give to my dad because I feel like he has knee problems all the time and they are like these little things that you can crack and they're like temporary heating pads and I'm not sure how many hours each of them is supposed to work for because unfortunately I cannot read this language, but I've had eye masks like this before where you kind of like crunch them up and it's like a little temporary heat pad, heat pack thing that you can use. So I got some of those. Oh look, I have some all black and white film monochromatic. I have another weird hair thing. I think it's supposed to give you that early 2000s puff 
like a bump it basically is what I'm saying. Do you guys remember that as seen on TV product? Um, and so funny enough, like a couple weeks ago, it was trending on Twitter that that hairstyle, like the early 2000s poof, is supposedly making a comeback, which Snooki has got to be so delighted. I have a Ryan lip tint and I think the packaging for this is so cute. Look at that. This color is called soft brown and that is what it looks like. You guys know I love those like spicy 90s kind of inspired shades and like this is just the product to me like I'm so excited to set this out on my vanity and look at it. I love when products are like good and cute. That's like the perfect marriage to me. I have a marker. Do you guys remember this? This kind of reminds me of the Milk Lip Markers, which I don't know why they don't make those anymore, but this is once again by that brand APU, and I think it's technically gonna be like this darker pink color, kind of like a raspberry shade. We have more face lace type stuff. This is a whole big mask. This is a bunch of makeup sponges in here the little like flat ones. So I feel like um, I have a lot of the K-Beauty, uh, like the foundation packs, you know, like the liquid kind of foundation. So that's why I got these so that I could like switch them out more often to prevent breakouts and all kinds of stuff like that. Um, and this is once again, one of those makeup puffs, but in a animal paw shape. I think this is supposed to be a cat paw as well. So I thought that that would be so cute. So I have a whole package set here of these Mary Mond highlighter sticks. So there's a couple of different tents in here. I think that there is like, you know, I, I don't know. So maybe I should open them all later and do a bunch of swatches. I feel like so scrambled because of course, camera, overheating, batteries, dying like always but um i did unwrap one so this is what they look like they are heart-shaped highlighter sticks and see like this one is kind of like a super shiny white shade and i think there's like a pink toned one a blue toned one um some other like pretty stereotypical highlighter shades like champagne colored uh but i of course was drawn to the super cute heart shaped packaging. Um, up next is something that obviously I'm not normally attracted to, but it was just, it's called Cherry Moisture Lip Glow. So I'm definitely kind of hoping that this is gonna be more the consistency of like a hydrating gloss type balm product versus like an obvious like lip gloss, cause we all know I hate lip glosses, but like just look at the packaging. I feel like the packaging was just so cute and aesthetic and I love um, all kind of cherry smelling things. So I feel like I just had to try it. Then I have this stuff, which, oh my God, look at how weird it is. I've not seen a mascara comb product in so long. Let me know if you guys have heard of Rude Cosmetics. It's actually listed on their site as a US based brand, but I've never really seen anybody try it or talk about it. So I'm kind of curious, um, but this is the brown shade and uh, we shall see. I have another Eliza Vecca product in here. Once again, super cute little pig mascot. And this is a clear jelly collagen mask. There's something like some sick fascination I have with like the clear peel off masks. It's like when you were a kid in school and you used to put the glue, like a thin layer of glue on your hand and then peel it off. Did anybody else just do that or, or just me? Um, last two products. This one I did not unbox yet, but this is specifically a K-Beauty trend where you line your lower lash line with kind of like a white sparkly pencil. So that is what this is called. It's called Jewel Light Under Eye Maker. And it's supposed to give you this kind of effect, like a twinkling eye. And then the last, last product that we have is from Etude House. The packaging is so beautiful. And this is called the Secret Beam Powder Packed. So I think once again, it is going to look like a traditional, I don't know why I was so drawn to all these like super old school pressed powder compact 
products, but I was really curious about the sparkling or the beam aspect of this one. Like, is it going to be more like a setting powder or more like a highlighter powder? I don't know yet. I haven't tried it. So those are all of the products. I feel like this was a super, super long hurl video today. So no long outro, but let me know if you guys would be interested in testing out any of these products, or if you would like to see me like test any of them in a separate video, maybe like group a bunch of similar type products together, like hair products, mascaras, let me know in the comments down below. But thank you guys so, so much for hanging out today and for watching. If you're not already and you'd like to be, hit the button down below, subscribe, become a member of the Swamp Family, and give an alligator its wings. I love you guys so, so much, and I will see y'all again very, very soon. Bye!